Good day ladies and gents, Axel here and I have some exciting news for you. So first of all, BSG started a stream yesterday that lasted 24 hours. Uh, they were doing a bunch of different activities like they had uh, PMCs there, they had scavs, stealing gear and stashing gear. And overall this activity was around the terminal as users, I don't know, I have no idea how different users were getting access. I think it was just purely time based. And uh, by the time the stream ended, BSG launched Arena... Um, Arena website. So you can go right now to arena.tarkov.com and there is a way to pre-order it. So I'm gonna go through the website, see what's up and share my thoughts. So first of all, we are greet with Arena trailer. I think it's the old one, but let's watch it just to refresh the memory. All right. So this is the official Arena trailer, I don't know if we're gonna get another one before it gets released. However, right now BSG are at Gamescom and if by any chance you go to Gamescom you can play Arena yourself if you are a streamer or a reporter, I don't think Arena is available for everyone even at Gamescom. Anyway, let's scroll through the website and see what's up. So welcome to Arena, challenge yourself in gladiator fights in the hidden arenas of Tarkov organized by mysterious masters and led by the host. Bets are made. Play the competitive PvPvE first-person shooter with tactical team modes. Arena perfectly combines the hardcore mechanics of Escape from Tarkov and fast-paced gameplay of session matches. Equipment ready. Choose rank rating and role presets for equipment depending on the rank of the player and the chosen role. Alright, so I actually wonder if depending on your rank, your equipment differs. And how will it differ? Well, I hope we'll see that soon. You can play as an Assault, CQB, Scout, or Sniper. To be honest, I'm not sure what the role of Sniper will be, because Arena seems to be super, super CQB based on the maps we've seen. Uh, but, I mean, we've got a guy right here, what is he using? Is it an RSS? Maybe, um, I don't know, like an RSS with a Voodoo Sight? Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what gear will be meta in Arena. My bet is it's going to be close range, something like M4 or... I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm at AK. Uh, two games, one character. Win games and your character's level, skills and weapon mastering will grow in both EFT Arena and Escape from Tarkov and vice versa. Alright, so I don't know if this is going to apply both to ranked mode and unranked. But it's quite interesting that if you rank your skills in Escape from Tarkov, it's also going to rank in Arena. Because that doesn't sound very competitive, right? Whoever spends more time on Tarkov and grinds the skills has better chances of winning in arena. So, I wonder I want I want I want to see how that unfolds. Rank promotion, rank matters. Earn ranked uh, earn rating in ranked games and play against opponents of equal skill. All right, this is kind of cool. I was I was always a big fan of uh, competitive games. I uh, I'm a try hard CS:GO player. I've got like 4 or 5000 hours in CS. And I absolutely love grinding ranks. So this is going to be fun. I just hope that the problem with the cheaters will be solved um, and there won't be as many cheaters or at least you will get back your points if you lose to them. All right. Big Arsenal, use weapons, mods, medicine and other items from Escape from Tarkov. Okay. And uh, you can pre-order now and get unique gear set from Chronicles of Rigi series protagonist. All right. So now we come to the game modes. What kind of game modes does Arena have? 
Shootout Tournament. Round Robin Tournament. Each team plays against each other in solo, duo or trio modes. Two teams win the most uh, victory points, meet in the final to determine the winner of the tournament. Oh, so this kind of reminds me of uh, Call of Duty tournament. I think they had something similar when different teams were competing like in a letter type of a tournament. All right, that sounds cool. Team fight. Two teams of five players fight for victory in seven rounds. Capturing objective points on the map after the timer expires will also lead to the victory in the round. All right. Overrun. PvE missions for 5 players. The goal of the team is to clear the location from waves of enemies, complete the given objective, and evacuate to a safe zone. Alright, so this is gonna be something Nikita talked about. You and your mates will be able to find different bosses in Arena. I also assume you will be able to get gear from those raids. Um, and yeah, I think this is gonna be very chill. Like, if you want to play with your mates for a bit, but you don't want to launch Stark of, like, you know, wait for everyone, like, load into the raid, and one of your teammates dies, you might just play this instead. Sounds fun. Last hero. Deathmatch between multiple players. The goal of each player is to score the most kills in the allotted, allotted allocated time. Alright, so I guess this is like King of the Hill, except the amount of kills do matter as well. Uh, duel is not clickable, but I guess duel is just one versus one. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> Game locations. Sawmill. An old private sawmill on the outskirts of Tarkov, rumored to be concealed backup terror group labs, command post with an autonomous control system. Alright, so this is uh, located around woods area, but this is not woods. It is it is a different area with new objects that looks different. Um, alright, alright. Bay 5. A former terror group lab secure cargo warehouse in the port area. An iconic location with a new look. Alright, so I, I think this map comes from... Uh, what was the game BSG made before Tarkov? Um, damn, I can't remember. If you remember it, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the map from, from that game, the original, the original uh, map. Air Pit. This is the one we've seen in the trailer. A terminal hall of the city airport transformed by local thugs into arena for death fights. Alright, doesn't look too big. I like the map. I like the map. Equator, that's the hotel if I remember correctly, a makeshift arena for gladiator fights, redesigned out of the Equator 2 shopping mall. Oh, it's shopping mall, it's not the... Um, Alright, my bad. I thought it was a hotel, but it's a shopping mall instead. And uh, I think this is it more or less, you can't see anything else on the website, you can pre-order. And if you have EOD, if you have Edge of Darkness Edition, uh, arena comes for free, you don't have to buy it. And uh, you can buy arena as a gift. 37 euros for a single copy and that's it i'm very excited for arena i can't i can't wait to play it to be honest it should be a lot of fun i'm ready to grind the rank the only thing is they don't tell us when arena is getting launched i don't see any dates but other than that i'm super excited and i hope so are you thank you so much for watching the video i also stream on twitch daily check me out on twitch i will see you in the next video take care